my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Well The second workout in the 2019 GSO is called Jack the Gripper. It is a nine minute AMRAP. The workout starts with 60 wall balls, followed by 40 deadlifts, and finishing up with 20 bar muscle ups for the RX guys, 15 bar muscle ups for the RX ladies. In any remaining time that you have left, you're gonna perform as many reps of clean and jerk at the same weight that you were using for your deadlifts. First movement in the workout is wall balls. We want to make sure that the athletes are squatting below parallel. Hey, that's pretty good. And then throwing the ball to the desired height for the workout. So not hitting the desired height or not hitting the wall at all is going to be a no rep. No, God, please, no. If the athlete does not reach below parallel in their squat, that would also be a no rep. From there, moving on to the deadlifts, we want to see the athletes start with the bar on the ground, finish standing tall with the hips open, knees locked out, and shoulders behind the bar. Good job. A no rep here is going to be if the athlete does not open up the hips completely at the top. Come on, man. If the athlete does not extend the knees at the top, or if the athlete uses a bounce at the bottom of the deadlift. What in God's name are you doing? And doesn't keep the arm straight through the entire movement. From there, our RX and Masters division will be moving into bar muscle ups. On the bar muscle ups, we're looking for the athletes to start with the arms fully extended in a hanging position and then finish on the top of the bar again with the arms fully extended. A no rep here on the bar muscle up is going to be if the feet come above the height of the bar when performing the kip or if the athlete does not fully extend or lock out the elbows on the top of the bar muscle up. For our scale division that will be performing pull ups instead of bar muscle ups, we want to make sure that the athletes are starting in the same position, meaning the arms are going to be fully extended hanging from below the bar. The athlete can perform a strict pull up, a kipping pull up, a butterfly kipping pull up, uh, a mixed grip will be allowed as well. We want to make sure that at the top of the pull up, the athlete's chin is breaking the plane of the bar, so coming on top of the bar, and at the bottom of the pull up, the athlete is coming back down to that fully extended arm position. Once the RX and Masters athletes have finished their bar muscle ups and the scaled athletes have finished their pull ups, and whatever remaining time they have left, they're going to perform as many reps of clean and jerks as possible. On the clean and jerks, the athletes will be allowed to squat clean the bar or power clean the bar. On the jerks, they will be allowed to do a push jerk or a split jerk. If the athlete chooses to do a push press or a press, that would be allowed as well. Good rep obviously starts with the barbell on the ground, comes up, makes contact with the shoulders, and then finishes overhead with the arms locked out, athletes standing tall with the hips and knees locked out, in control of the barbell. A bad rep here is going to be if the athlete performs a rep from the hang. No, 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 no. Or if the athlete chooses to do a split jerk, does not bring the feet back together, or if the athlete does a push jerk, but doesn't have control of the bar at the top and does not lock out the elbows. 